Coach, how are you? First question I have is, um, after a series sweep like this, you're all's first of the season, uh, what can you take away from that? How do you get better? Well, I think, I think when we go back and we look at everything, like the stats and the video and all that, I think what we have to do is pick each um, part of the game, you know, pick it apart, go in, analyze, figure out, you know, where we did well, continue to work on that, what we didn't do well, and, and fix that in a hurry because we got games on Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's a good opportunity for us for turning back around starting Tuesday, but we got to make sure we're smart about it. A lot of home runs were given up in this series, yeah. a couple today, a couple yesterday. Uh, on the pitching side, how do you guys work on that, making sure you get the ball where you want it to be? Well, I think that, you know, it's important when you're a pitcher to command your pitches, and if you don't and, and you're always throwing in hitters counts and you have to bring the ball closer to the plate, a team that's as good as Missouri is going to be able to get on time and get on plane and, and hit that pitch. So I think the biggest takeaway from this weekend is our pitching staff is going to have to do a better job staying ahead of the count and making sure that they pitch their pitches. Speaking of Missouri, Hugh Moore had a fantastic weekend with Fidel McCoy. Is she kind of a player that doesn't get a lot of buzz in the SEC? Well, I think right now Missouri was trying to figure stuff out with a brand new coach, but they're getting better and better every weekend. So I think, you know, the record is not indicative of how good they are because they took those losses early, but they're an outstanding team. They've just beaten two teams in the top 20 plus. They beat Arizona earlier in the year. So Missouri absolutely um, deserves votes from a softball perspective. You know, I know they have all that other stuff going on, but I can only speak to the softball team. They're definitely deserving of top 20. What can you say about Ward's performance this weekend? Of who's? Kim Ward from Missouri. Oh, I mean, she was awesome. It, it was really hard to pitch to her. She was, she got on time for everything. She was really tough in the box. She wasn't, you know, she didn't give in. That was the biggest thing that I took away from that. She didn't give in. She kept battling until she got her pitch, and when she did, she capitalized. I know it's probably not exactly something you want at the end of a game like this, but Curtis had two pretty good innings out of coming off the pitch. How important is it for her to have something like that going forward after a couple of runs? Who's that? Uh, Grace had two pretty oh, good innings. You know, it, it was a big deal today, you know, just to try to get some things right. You know, she didn't have great outings um, Friday or yesterday. So for her to be able to come in, command her pitches, do a good, good job getting some good batters out, I think will give her confidence going into the week. I saw there was a couple times uh, Sarah got thrown out, Katie got thrown out, uh, trying to get another base. Uh, how do you guys sort of improve uh, that hustle and just do that decision making whenever you're on the base pass? Well, I think that's just a case of people over trying, trying to, to make something that's not there. I mean, obviously it wasn't smart softball plays because when you're down like that, you can't afford to give outs, especially when you're already in scoring position. So I think though, when you try so hard to make something happen, that's unfortunately what goes on. So hopefully they'll learn from that and not make that same mistake again. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank